Okay, everyone, we're here to discuss the growing raptor threat. Wait, so just to be clear... No, Ed, this is not a Movies United episode. Okay, got it. You know, I honestly don't get what the big deal is. They're just raptors. Shoot them. Oh, I'm not gonna shoot an animal. So you have to shoot them. I was just suggesting... These aren't just normal raptors. These guys are huge! Which is saying something, because Jurassic Park raptors are already pretty big. Okay, so they're a little bigger. So what? We faced worse than that. Well, okay, I'm not sure about the wildcats, but Ed, you faced a literal god. Wait, if I beat god, then why do I still have my metal arm? <laughs> oh yeah, that's another thing. These raptors eat metal. I don't care if they eat metal. We're superheroes for crying out loud. We could take down a Brachiosaurus if we wanted to. So let's just grab some tranks, a few cages, and get those things locked up. Actually, it's not that simple, hero. Oh, of course you disagree. Listen to Aviva, hero. She's the smartest scientist in the world. Okay, just because her inventions don't screw up as much as other scientists doesn't make her the best. Actually, it does make her the best. No, it doesn't! After doing a bit of research, I've come to the hypothesis that these raptors are actually intelligent beings from another dimension. It's possible that where they come from, they're the dominant species. Hmm. That actually explains a lot. What we need is a permanent solution to keep them in their old dimension and out of ours. Yeah, we don't need any more invaders on the Zane Reborn channel. Isn't this a Space Raptor channel? More importantly, do we have a solution to deal with these creatures? <laughs> I have an idea! Oh, no. uh, oh. Robin, if you suggest charging in recklessly, that's not going to- We need to study them! Huh? Guys, I need to head to the doctor and get my ears checked, because I think I just heard Robin say something smart. No, hero, your ears are just fine. How the heck are we supposed to study these things? We just established they're probably intelligent beings from another dimension. We'll ask them. We can communicate with them using Pingu subtitles. And he's back to being stupid. Robin, you don't actually think that Pingu is the answer to all of our problems, do you? No offense, Pingu, you're awesome. Not, not. Okay, I know I sometimes make bad decisions, oh, like all the time. but I have no doubt in my mind that the power of subtitles is exactly what we need. No, 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 this is a dumb idea. No, I'm with that. This is stupid. Well, since it seems like we're going to be heavily relying on Pingu, perhaps we should ask him permission first? Net, net. He's on board! What? Whoa. what? Okay, I guess we're doing this. The, the... Oh. Pray for plot armor. Pray for plot armor. You know, my trank and cage idea is still up for offer. Quit being a blowhard. I'm just concerned for Pingu's life. Shush! There's a specimen over there right now. Is that Charlie? No, that's Charlie. This is one of those giant raptors from another dimension. That just happens to look like Charlie. This universe doesn't make any sense. Okay, Pingu, we're counting on you, buddy. Stay safe. <laughs> It's working! It's what? Disguises? We don't have the budget for disgu- <sighs> Fine, I'll whip out the old Fazbear suit. I can't believe I came up with an ingenious idea, and I'm not allowed to go with them! That's because you only have two models, and neither of them are disguises. But, we will be able to see what you see. Charlie can go with you since he's already a raptor, and he'll have a camera attached to his head so we can see what you see. <laughs> Teleporting? No one said anything about teleporting!